Hi guys, what's up? Welcome to a new video. Today we're going to talk about the biggest things that happen throughout the year. Welcome to the full year roundup. Starting with the first half of the year, Epic Games, a video game development company, filed a bunch of lawsuits against Apple's App Store policy. A while back, Epic Game filed a bunch of lawsuits against Apple's 30% cut that Apple takes on each purchase made on the App Store. For that reason, Epic implemented a direct in-app purchasing method to bypass App Store's payment system with their game Fortnite. That's the thing Epic also did with Google. Immediately after that, Apple and Google blocked Fortnite, leading to Epic filing a bunch of antitrust lawsuits, arguing that Apple and Google unlawfully operate monopolies over their platforms. Epic calls the 30% cut insanely high compared to an average of 3% other operators do. None of these lawsuits went anywhere. But maybe because of that, Apple and other tech giants made a number of changes on their app stores. Like Microsoft matched the 12% revenue cut from the Epic Game Store. Then Apple and Google reduced the 30% cut to 15% for small developers. There's a lot more to the story we can't all talk about in this video. The biggest thing that affected everyone around the world was the global supply shortage. First off, the Suez Canal blocked due to a large container ship that got a power outage and most of the ship was out of control. The Suez Canal is one of the busiest trade routes. The total trade loss was about $54 billion in 6 days of the ship being blocked. Secondly was the global chip shortage. Crypto miners and scalpers buying large stock of CPUs and GPUs as soon as they were available. For that reason, even the game consoles were insanely hard to get and even the price surged drastically. Then President Biden came in and brought up a $37 billion plan to reverse the chip shortage. Then Nvidia released GPUs for crypto mining. <laughs> even the scalpers couldn't reach out on the units in stock because they would sell out immediately. Later Samsung came in and said it plans to build a $17 billion semiconductor factory outside Texas. And also Intel invested $20 billion in US chip making plants so they can catch up on the dominance by the Asian chip makers. Beginning of the second half of the year was influenced by the so-called billionaire space race. Yeah, British billionaire Richard Brunson, the CEO of Virgin Galactic, the company that wants to make easy for people to travel to space, accomplished their first space flight. With the CEO on board, the rocket reached about an 86 km high altitude. It was launched by a series of planes that took the rocket to a very high altitude. Then the rocket geared up its engine and fired up supersonic speeds. It was so cool to see how the flight crew members were experiencing zero gravity. Soon after that, Jeff Bezos went to space with his new Blue Origin Shepard rocket, reaching the Karman Line, the boundary between space and Earth, 100 kilometers from the surface. Later on the Blue Origin second flight, William Shatner became the first 90-year-old man who traveled to space. This year, NASA landed the new Mars Perseverance rover, which was a very successful landing. Perseverance landed on a special historic site called the Jezero Crater. Scientists believe it once had a lake and might have remains of microbial life. This Perseverance mission also carried a small drone-like helicopter which was called Ingenuity to capture more of the Mars surface. Months after being on Mars, Perseverance drilled a rock and collected samples which will soon be sent back to Earth. In November, Jack Dorsey resigned from Twitter CEO and was replaced with the Chief Technical Officer, CTO, Parag Agarwal. Zach Dorsey said, I've decided to leave Twitter because I believe the company is ready to move from its founders. My trust on Parag as a Twitter CEO is deep. His work in the past 10 years has been transformational. I'm deeply grateful for his skill, heart and soul. It's his time to lead. There are two things to point. First, I believe Twitter was facing a lot of antitrust violations. Maybe he just wanted to get off the pressure. Second, Jack Dorsey is also the CEO of payment company Square. Jack Dorsey has mentioned many times that he loves cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin and stuff. 
maybe he just wants to start a cryptocurrency or something. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you want to watch more of my videos, you can click to any of these. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Talk to you guys in the next one.